the Sub Belt Tournament if that were to happen. So we're about to get underway. I think there's an equipment issue right now. We're waiting on with Michael Statham from Old Dominion, who's in all yellow tonight. All red for Gunther Rackenberg tonight. And we are underway. Monarchs play it back to Statham. He loves to play the ball, and he's very good at it. And they don't mind it. He's an offensive weapon at times for the Monarchs. Be an early throw in for Georgia State. Panthers throw it in to Finney. Finney drops it off here to the near side to Schroeder, Evan Schroeder. We'll touch it back to Jack Hilton Jones, who gets the start for Clay Dawes, who was out tonight in the back end. And they send it ahead of Gibbon Chase, Simon Carlson. Carlson tracked that down before it goes out of bounds, and he does, keeps it in. Carlson with a nice move. Buys some space, tries to pass it back to Yolo Jones, who drops it off to Schroeder. Schroeder outside of the box, being over the right side. A nice takedown and play defensively on the back end for Old Dominion. Joshua Fox, the freshman. Excuse me, make that Liam Thomas with the play there for Old Dominion. Mape plays it back to Reeser, changes fields with it. Fox then plays it back to Statham. Again, you will see Statham play with his feet quite a bit, come out of the box as he is right here. A little errant pass there, being chased down and not able to save it was Christensen. A quick throw in for Georgia State, trying to get some offense. Well, Dominion able to get a takeaway. Sending it ahead to Jenkins. Plays it back, but a little heavy with through ball. And Rankenberg boots it away for the Panthers. Just a couple minutes into this one. Score was your beautiful night for soccer here in Norfolk. Could not ask for a better night on the first day of November. It's a sunny 70 degree day. Now it's in the evening will be uh, in the 60s here tonight for soccer. Great night for it. Hilton Jones going to move it over to Schroeder here on the near side. Schroeder being defended quickly sends it ahead and giving chase. Orocho was unable to get it. It's going to be a goal kick for the Monarchs. Orocho with some speed. Not that quite that enough speed, though, the fifth-year player out of Madrid, Spain. Statham looking for some options. Georgia State will press up with three into the box as you saw them there. Nice header to Thomas. Thomas here on the left side. Passes it forward to Jenkins. Jenkins sends it in. Got a man there. There's a shot that's going to be wide from Schmalbach. Good idea and a really good pass. Surprised how Schmalbach kind of snuck in there unmarked. But Thomas with good recognition as we get another look at it. Excuse me, Jenkins with a good pass ahead. And Schmalbach just couldn't get enough on it. Right angle, right idea. He definitely had to beat to the corner, but couldn't take it home. Hilton Jones sends it downfield, but there's an old Dominion defender there with the head. Ahead to Mr. Rowley, who can't handle it. Mr. Rowley, though, comes back for it. Sends it a little heavy and out of bounds. So throwing coming up here for the Panthers. Trying to get that to Jenkins. One of the top offensive players here for Old Dominion. Five goals in the year, 22 shots, and 14 shots on goal leads the team. Gunther Rackenberg, the senior out of Marietta, Georgia. The all red kit tonight, black gloves. Walking the ball up, and he's going to pass it up to Finney in the midfield. Here comes Finney. Ross Finney from Carnoustie, Scotland. She's quickly stopped by Schmalbach. Now the change of field for the Panthers. And Old Dominion's Michael Statham handles it. 
Statham going to roll it out here on the near side to Reeser. Back to Statham. Again, you'll see a lot of this from Statham. He'll come out, play the ball with his feet. Can really be a weapon at times, too, sending deep balls. That was a little heavy with the pass here from the Monarchs. As Finney now moves it over here on the near side to Schroeder. Schroeder was going to be redshirted this year. And it took the red shirt off him after the Georgia Southern game due to injury, and he's played seven games, had a pair of goals already. Freshman out of Atlanta. Here's a cross. And coming on quickly for the Panthers, an opportunity but cleared out. As Jumeau made a run from the back end. Now it's going to be a free kick here. for the Panthers. It'll be Yolo Jones handling it. Now he's waiting, trying to get his player set up right out to the box. The right-footed player will be able to send this one in towards the goal mouth if he chooses to do so. Big send. It's Statham's going to come up and grab it out of the air. Freshman goalie for the Monarchs takes care of that one. Statham's been really good this season out of Stockport, England. 6'4", so he's got some size and come out there and play those high balls, as you saw there. Five shutouts in the year as well. Reeser, the man coming on him, plays it back to Statham. Max Wilkins putting the pressure on. You see on the other side, Simon Carlson doing the same. They like to pressure. Nothing easy given by the Panthers. And sent ahead by Statham. Headed up. And we're going to get a push on the Monarchs. Thinking to get Misa Roli on it. It's right before midfield there. A free kick coming up for Georgia State. We're about Seven minutes into this one here. Scoreless first half. Again, a lot on the line for the Sun Belt standings here tonight and the final night of the regular season in Sun Belt play. Evan Schroeder, the man on, moved it over to Finney. Finney sends it deep, giving chase. That's Carlson. Carlson looking for some help. Dribbles it back, drops it off to Orocha. Rocha now moves it back to Schroeder. It's a good defense on the back end from Old Dominion. Schroeder sends it across to the left wing. Man's there, but they're going to get a penalty. Push off was going to be the call there on McLean. McLean, excuse me, Justin McLean, the freshman from Atlanta, Georgia. Good mix of, of uh, seniors and juniors and, and some freshmen playing here for this Panther squad. Well sent into the stands. Don't think that was the intent, but a little, a little too much heat behind that one from Christensen. So quickly thrown in by the Panthers. Jack Hilton Jones to Schroeder. Finney now, Finney quickly over to Jones. Jones backs off with it. Now Jones looking to send. Thinks better of it. Gets it over to Finney. Hilton Jones now. Old Dominion now putting a little pressure on him. A Schmalbach. And also Everly on that right side. Here comes Finney with a little bit of green space. He's going to send it up the left side as he changes fields with it. And giving chase is McLean again. Can't get it. And that's going to be a goal kick coming up for the Monarchs. Just under 36 minutes left here in this scoreless first half. Here from Norfolk, Virginia, campus of Old Dominion. Sunbelt soccer. Last night of the regular season. Another errant send by the Monarchs. A little sloppy here in the early going, Reeser. With that one that went flying out of bounds. Yolo Jones. Moves it back to Jack Hilton Jones. Coming to the left side, Munez. 
There's a set to the deep side. McLean can't run it down. It's going to be an out-of-bounds and thrown for the Monarchs. It's close to being offside as well. But uh, instead of throwing for ODU. A lot of possession here in the early going for the Panthers. Now to that exchange. It's going to be a push on ODU right outside of the box. There will be a free kick for the Panthers. Looks like Simon Carlson will set it up. They're going to have to walk off. The referee will walk off the wall for the ODU defense. The right-footed Carlson. Statham going to set up slightly to his to the right of the goal. And on the whistle, we'll see whether Simon Carlson can do something with the set piece. Six goals in the season for Carlson, 15 points. Hooks it in there, but headed out by Old Dominion, and that should be – is he going to stay? Is he going to go as a corner? It's going to be a corner kick here on the near side. So Carlson will come over after taking the free kick and now handle the corner. Get a right – Footed kicker, so he will so he'll swing away from the goal. Potentially, we'll see what Carlson has in store here. So they send up five players in the box. Here's the header, and that is in the goal. In the goal, and it looks like Schroeder is going to get credit for it off the Carlson corner. Schroeder celebrates. We get another look here. Evan Schroeder from Atlanta. Yes, he gets up in that scrum. There was two Old Dominion defenders around him somehow, got his head on it. So Carlson to Schroeder. And it makes it a 1-0 game with 33-13 to go here in this first half. For Schroeder, his third goal of the season in just his eighth game. And the assist from Carlson on the corner. So quick start here for the visitors. The Panthers from Georgia State are up early 1-0. Old Dominion going to have to respond here, but Schroeder 6-1 just got up there in between two defenders, got his head on it. Well-placed ball by Simon Carlson. Off the corner. See if ODU has an answer. Have not had a whole lot of time of possession so far. Old Dominion had one good run here so far on the offensive end. Reeser changes fields with it. Ball being sent up towards Jenkins. Can't get to it. Here come the Panthers trying to counter. They push here just in front of midfield, so only. Panthers with another opportunity as Arocha gets taken down. Finney plays it back to Hilton Jones. Over here to Schroeder, who just scored a few moments ago to give us the 1-0 lead for Georgia State. Off the chest and turning with it was Wilkins. Plays it back and crossed and headed out. Jumeau tried to send it in. Coming the other way, Eberle for Old Dominion. Everly, the head of steam. Now he dumps it towards the corner for Jenkins. Jenkins can't get there. Good defense on the back end of that side. Now here come the Panthers trying to get something going to transition as Carlson will take it to midfield, plays it back. Changing fields over here to Schroeder. Munoz did a good job to make sure that Jenkins could not run it down for the Monarchs. That last exchange. Munez Finney 
Finney now drops it back to Jones, to Jones, to Hilton Jones, should say. Schroeder playing it back. Finney tries to move it ahead, but again played back to Schroeder. And over to Yolo Jones. Rocha sends it to the left wing, but kicked away by the Monarchs in the back end. It's a rolling, and now played ahead to Liam Thomas. Liam Thomas here up the left side. He's got some defenders coming after him. He's got to beat a couple players to get there. Gets it taken away and cleared up by Schroeder. And out of bounds, last touched by Georgia State. As Wilkins gave Chase, tried to save it, couldn't do it. Reeser, excuse me, make it. Uh, Mape throws it into Reeser. Reeser back to Statham. So coming up on about the 30 minute mark here of this first half. 15 minutes in, 1 0. The score Georgia State's Evan Schroeder, the freshman, getting the goal off the Corner kick off the foot of Simon Carlson. Big header, and that's where we stand right now. They're going to get a push there on Georgia State, so Old Dominion with a free kick, and referee says, no, 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 not so fast. Bring it back. Dominion restarts it. They call that on Wilkins. Here's the... Send from Beckett. Georgia State is a little quicker to the ball here so far. Speaking of quick, here comes Simon Carlson giving chase and in a hurry. Played back and Statham has it. But a turnover. Here comes Carlson again. Carlson turns, drops it in. He's got a man. Shot a big save, a kick save from Statham. As Arocha got... A little bit of a foot on it, but not big enough of a foot and couldn't lift it. And great job. I mean, it's almost like a hockey goalie save by Statham as he does the splits there. The right leg kick. That's all he could get on it. Well, just like that, it could have been 2 nothing here if it wasn't for the freshman. Georgia State really putting the pressure on the Monarchs here in this first half. Ball's headed up, trying to clear it out. We're going to get a push from behind on Georgia State. So Old Dominion, Statham will line this up quickly. Plays it out here to the near side of the field to Mape. Mape with a little space, going to send it up with a big left foot. He's got a man up there. Can he get to it? And he does, but now they're going to get a penalty on Old Dominion. Looking for maybe a handball, but not going to get it. Schmalbach was trying to. Work the ref a little bit. Just trying to thread the needle between those two defenders on the back end from Georgia State, but unable to get there. Munoz plays it back to Hilton Jones. Hilton Jones passes it ahead, goes through everybody. It was overrun there by McLean. Statham is going to stop it. Take it out of the box and now sends it up the field. He's got Schmalbach. Can he get to it? Nope. Now pushing it ahead to Schmalbach once again. He's looking for Thomas, though. Defense is on and too heavy of a pass to Mape on the left side. The simple things have been very difficult here in the early stretch for the home team. Munoz plays it back to Jones. Or excuse me, Finney. Over here to Schroeder. On the near side, Schroeder scored the lone goal in this game so far off a header. Back to Jack Hilton Jones. Who slides back to defense tonight with Clay Dawes out. 
Carlson's not going to get to it. Old Dominion on the back end there boots it out of bounds. So throw in coming up for the Panthers. We got a whistle. Referee didn't like the quick start of the throw and the placing of it. So Carlson plays it back. Jones now to Schroeder, who sends it over here on the near side. Jumo was unable to handle it. Old Dominion comes away with it. Possession's been an issue. Look at Carlson forcing the issue there. Statham's got to come up and boot it away. And the Panthers will not give you anything easy on the back end if you're trying to clear it out. That has got to be a whistle. A lot of hand fighting there. And they're going to get the call on ODU when uh, Yolo Jones and Mr. Rowley were definitely hand fighting like wide receiver and defensive back down the field. So after that free kick, it's going to be a throw in deep in Old Dominion's end once again for the Panthers. Already up one nothing here. 20 minutes in, in this first half of play here from Old Dominion tonight. Sunbelt soccer action for you. Big throw towards the goal mouth, but nobody in a dark jersey around. So ODU clears it out. Liam Thomas giving chase. Jumo, though, plays it back to his goalie, Rackenberg. Rankenberg, excuse me. Rankenberg is going to wait. Look for some options. He's going to send it deep up the right wing. Rocha giving chase, not able to get there. Jumo with the header, but it's going to be last touch by Jumo, and it's going to be a penalty on Jumo. The Old Dominion is actually giving, cheating themselves by not taking advantage of where the ball was. Reeser sends it back, and now Statham. Oh, misplays it. Now he's out of position. Turn around, shot, and Statham's able to save it. Could have been a huge mistake there, but Statham able to cover for himself. A little bit of a misplay, but a quick shot. So you look at it again. Statham did a good job getting back. Here comes Lim Thomas shooting, and that's going to be way off the mark, out of bounds. The goal kick coming up. Georgia State with the first substitution of the game. Tom Williams is going to come in. Justin McLean comes out. So Tom Williams in, a junior, 5'8", from Cheshire, England. He's got a three-goal season going so far with an assist. So Williams into the game as McLean, the freshman, sits down. And a big goal kick from Rankenberg. Rankenberg and Statham could have a contest here, both of them big-footed goalies. Ball's kicked in deep and somehow kept in by the Panthers. This could be trouble. Here's Carlson crossing. He's got a man there. There's a shot that's going to be high and over the post. But Old Dominion thought they had done a good job clearing it out. Amazing job by the Georgia State team to keep the ball in bounds. And then you saw Jumo with the pass to Carlson, and Carlson set it across but unable to get the finish from Tom Williams, who just checked in. Statham suddenly under fire here over these last few minutes. Puts a high, deep goal kick up. It's going to be headed forward. But now kicked back by the Panthers. Old Dominion, again, has not had much possession time here in this first half. It's not uncommon. They've been good in transition and taking the ball away from teams. But so far, not tonight, did a lot of chasing. Jones buys himself some real estate. Now he dribbles. Near side passes it over here to Evan Schroeder. Schroeder and send it back to Jack Hilton Jones. Over to Munoz. Munoz moving it forward to Thomas. Hilton Jones now back to Schroeder. 
here on the near side. Jumo loses it. Old Dominion's Liam Thomas now with it. Can he do anything with it after Schmalbach gets to it? He sends it ahead to Schmalbach, who can't run it down. Good defense on the back end by Jack Hilton Jones, who was over there in a hurry. Now he's going to play it back to his goaltender, Rankenberg. A brief moment. It looked like ODU might get a run going. And quickly, Jack Hilton Jones shot out and chased the pass down before Tristan Jenkins could. Quickly sent ahead on misplay. Carlson now with it on his foot. Carlson trying to get some space, makes a nice move and sends it across, but it's kicked out by the Old Dominion and headed out. Finney keeps it in and now taken away from Thomas, or Williams rather, taken away from Williams and now back Munoz over to Hilton Jones. In midfield, Hilton Jones passes over to Ross Finney. Finney with some space over to Simon Carlson. Carlson over the left wing. That's Tom Williams. He crosses it, and it's kicked away, and it's going to be a corner kick coming up after Christensen slides it and kicks it out of bounds for Old Dominion. So under 20 minutes left in this first half. Carlson already has an assist on a corner kick earlier, about 14 minutes ago. On the other side, we'll now try the side that you should be swinging into. So Simon Carlson, last time connected with Schroeder, getting ready for the corner as the Panthers send about six into the penalty box. And here comes Statham, misses it, still there. It's bouncing around, kicked away by Old Dominion defender. Now misses the header and kicking it away for the Monarchs is Beckett. Now giving chase for the Monarchs. Going to the far side of the field. There's a chance here with some offense for the Monarchs potentially. Now stopping, starting, crossing, and broken up on the back end again by the Panthers. Georgia State's defense, they sell out, come up, they come back, and quickly sent ahead and been chased, and we're going to get a whistle. Wilkins is going to be offside. Well, Dominion looked like they were going to get finally get a Breakaway chance. Schmalbach was hustling down there, but never could quite run it down. And this is one of the things that talking to Alan Dawson about Georgia State was they really do a great job being committed, getting back on defense. And when they go forward, they go forward. And when they go back, they go back. It's a complete buy-in. And you can see what he means as you watch here in this first first half. Of Really sell out to get up forward and get back defensively. Ross Finney now with some space that he drops it off here on the near side. Evan Schroeder, he'll bring it up towards midfield. Quickly passes it ahead to Jumo, who has it taken away. And it's a penalty on Jumo. So Schmalbach quickly gets it over to Misaroli. Misaroli. Sends it to the right wing and off the mark of the intended Michael Eberle. Well, Dominion now pressing. Ross Finney passes it up midfield. There's Carlson somehow by himself. Dumps it ahead to Wilkins. Max Wilkins between a couple defenders boots it well over the goal and out of bounds. A goal kick coming up. So Old Dominion, good job getting back on defense there. Somehow Carlson just kind of gets it right there. The last guy you want to have the ball with space and is able to find Wilkins. And Wilkins blasts the shot way wide. Ball's overrun. Now it's picked up by the Monarchs. Beckett sends it here to the near side to Thomas. Thomas can't get there as it's kicked away by Jumeau. Schmalbach on the ground gets back up and they're gonna get a penalty on Schmalbach for Old Dominion. It's a free kick coming up for the Pan Panthers as Arocha was fouled. So Schroeder. And back to Jack Hilton Jones. Hilton Jones. Gets it back from Finney and over to Munoz. Ross Finney with some time. 
Simon Carlson turns with it. He's going to set it to the right wing. And he's got a man there. Can he get – beats one man, flips up, and can't get much of a foot on it was Jumo, And Statham does a good job there and a good job on the back end as well. The old mini defender, Mark Mar – Mape, excuse me. Here come the Monarchs trying to counter. Attacking ODU. And what are they going to say? It's going to be a corner kick coming up for the Monarchs. The Monarchs is a set piece. It's Beckett. It's going to come up and take it. Dominion with a chance for some rare offense here in this first half. Trailing 1-0. 15 and a half clock moving in the first half of play. Beckett off the right corner. He's going to reset the ball. Kicks a little low. Hits a player. Oh, looked like it could have been handballed. ODU bench is yelling for it. They're not going to get it. Thomas plays it back. And now sending it forward was Mape. And going for it for the Monarchs is Miss Aroli. Can he get a foot on it? Oh, and he just missed. What's the call? It's going to be a corner kick for the Monarchs. Miss Aroli with a good chance there. Let's go back to the corner and see what happened there. Ooh, it's close to maybe it was a shoulder, not a hand. Monarchs certainly were looking for a handball call. They didn't get it. And here comes Beckett again. See if he can do it again. This one's a little higher. Bending out. Header. Oh, over the net. And that's another shot for the Monarchs. But no, no goal there as that one goes high over the goal. Let's get another look at this. Reeser, a 6'2 freshman. There's a couple subs coming in now as there is a uh, fresh group coming in for Georgia State. We'll get you those here in a moment. Carlos Luna, number 23, is. One of those two checked in, and number 14, Brian Silva. So 14, Silva, and 23, Luna in now. There goes Luna on the run. Luna crosses it, just gets in the game. Nobody's there. ODU clears out briefly. Here comes Carlson. Excuse me, that's uh, Jones. Sends it over here. Again, Luna with the shot, and that's going to be run down and headed out. Still alive, with Georgia State still fighting for it. Headed back out on the back end by the Monarchs. Headed out again, and that one's going to go off Jenkins. And out of this, Beckett is going to send it here to the near side. Schmalbach able to stop it. He's got Thomas running up with him. Schmalbach sends it across the middle. Oh, a little heavy to Jenkins. Everly with the cross. There it is, and a header is going to be wide from Schmalbach. It's a beautiful send, but Schmalbach unable to control it. Let's get another look at it. There's Eberle on the far side. Schmalbach with the head. Wow, you talk about close, just a bad bounce. Couldn't get enough on it to get it in there. And Gunther Rankenberg can uh, exhale after that. 12-15 here left in this first half. It's a 1-0 Panthers lead over the Monarchs. Again, Georgia State with a win can move up. Depending on other results tonight, the second seed. Old Dominion could finish anywhere from 3-7. to seven. Currently are in the four spot. A lot to still be determined here tonight. The final day of the regular season, the Sun Belt. Simon Carlson dribbles back. Over to Jones, Yellow Jones, gets it to Ross Finney. Finney stops, starts. Finney sends it. You're giving chase. Carlson takes a dive, but he's not going to get the call. Carlson tried to sell it. I don't know if he's a theater major or not. That was rolled away by Statham. And here's an opportunity for Luna off his left foot. Tries to pass it in. One too many touches there. Monarch's able to 
knock it away. Seems to have a Silva. Tom Williams, the far side now dribbles back. Over into Finney. Finney going to split the defenders. He's going to try to get it on his foot. Can't get it there. Poked away, still being fought for. We got an Old Dominion player on the ground. We got two players on the ground. Miss Aroli's down for Old Dominion. And I can't see the number for Georgia State right now. But a collision there. Both players in the ground. You see, look at Michael Statham. His heart rate's got to be up a little bit. He's had a, a lot of activity in his end tonight. As Georgia State has really put on the pressure. And that is Ross Finney. So it was Finney and Niccolo, Niccolo Missaroli who had the collision. Yeah, Missaroli appears to be up. Here we'll get another look at it. Yeah, you see there, ooh. Missaroli was down with his foot extended and Finney's foot kind of went into Missaroli and we're able to get up. So both the players are up. We're going to get a yellow card. They're actually giving the yellow card. I think the yellow card just went to Ross Finney as he was walking off the field. So after all that, Finney gets a yellow. Yep. Now the players are getting water during that timeout with 10.55 to go here in this first half. Everybody's coming back out. It should be a free kick for the Monarchs outside of the box, and it is. The ball's being rolled over there now. So ODU down a goal. 10.55 to go. And again, Ross Finney on that exchange there. The collision gets a yellow. And he also, I believe, has gone out of the game after that collision. Now, Finney's coming back in now. He just had to go out for a second. Now he's back on the field. So Finney stays in, has a yellow. Tristan Jenkins up for ODU. ODU can handle it, but it's played back. Beckett now back over to Jenkins. Jenkins loses it. Gives chase and sent ahead. To Wilkins. Jones sends it up the left wing. Luna's there. Luna crosses it, trying to get a Silva, couldn't connect. And they're going to say offside. Make that Wilkins. I'm sorry, he's going to Wilkins, number nine, and could not connect. And it's an offside on Wilkins. So the offside called him Wilkins, and now quickly ODU trying to make something happen. And that pass is going nowhere as Munoz sends it ahead. Wilkins, way out of the box. Statham boots it back up. Beckett over to Thomas. Thomas able to trap it. Turns around, he's got a little green space. Here comes Liam Thomas, got a man to beat. And then quickly around him, here's Beckett from outside the box. Shot's gonna be way off the mark and that's gonna be a goal kick. Georgia State, again, continuing to hustle back on defense. So Gavin Williams now checking in for Georgia State for Simon Carlson, and Max Wilkins will take a seat for Matt Taylor as they get some fresh players in. Old Dominion's Aaron Deans is going to come in. He's going to come in for Tristan Jenkins, so Deans is going to play up for the Monarchs, or actually he's going to drop back. Looks like Eberly is going to move up along with Jonas Schmalbach. Liam Thomas off his chest. Got two players on him, splits him. Sends the ball across the field. He's got his man there. No. It's got a quick call on Georgia State. I got a Georgia State player down. Now the uh, referees has stopped the clock. He's got to injure Georgia State player Tom Williams. Started running. It looks like he 
landed awkwardly on his planted awkwardly on his ankle. He's gonna walk it off. So over here where Thomas was is where the push happened. So Old Dominion with the restart, the free kick. Reeser plays it across the field to Christensen. Fox back to Christensen. Christensen over to Statham. And again, here comes the pressure. They don't give you anything for free. Matt Taylor coming up, pressuring Statham. And quickly, it's caused a turnover from Old Dominion. Here comes Gavin Williams turning the corner. He gets it taken away for a moment. Looks like Miss Aroli was being held by Williams, or was he holding Williams? Either way, it's an Old Dominion free kick. Deans over to Miss Aroli. Miss Aroli plays it back to Christensen. Quickly over here to the near side to Mape. Moves it up to Schmallback and back to Miss Aroli. Miss Aroli's going to send it wide to Deans. He can't control it. Munoz with seven and a half to go in this first half. Moves it to Ross Finney. Ross Finney. Up to Williams, quickly over to the left wing, where he's got Tom Williams, back to Ross Williams, or my Gavin Williams, rather. Gavin Williams takes it in, maybe one too many. Gets it blocked, tries to cross it, nobody's home. Miss Aroli passes it out, but still in play, and that's going to be a penalty on Old Dominion. And there's a yellow card coming up on the Monarchs. So outside of the box, it's going to be a free kick coming up. Looks like maybe Joshua Fox got it. Number 18. So it's 7-0-1 Fox, and again, a set piece opportunity. See who handles this. Munoz is over there. Also, Tom Williams. See who peels off of it. Is Tom Williams lining it up or is it Munoz? Seven oh one to go here in this first half. One nothing already for Georgia State. Munoz. Boots it over the post. Goal kick coming up for Old Dominion. A lot of opportunities for Georgia State so far. And really, if, kind of from Old Dominion standpoint, Michael Statham has done a great job keeping the damages down so far for the Monarchs. They just have not had a ton of possession time or offensive possession time in particular. Reeser over, moves it over cross field and back. Midfield to Beckett. Beckett looks for somebody, and it's going to try to get it to Liam Thomas, but way over his head. A lot of the simple stuff has been very difficult tonight for ODU. A lot of errant passes. Yolo Jones with Thomas on him. Moves it over. Tries to send it. Beckett heads it for ODU. Giving chase to Schmalbach. He's got some real estate. He's got a man up the right wing. Is he going to drop it off? He does. To Deans. Deans has to chase it down. He can't control it. Now they're going to turn it over. Here comes Georgia State, as they often do in transition. It's Tom Williams sending it ahead to Matt Taylor, giving chase, but popped up and safely into the hands of Michael Statham. Statham quickly rolls it out to Miss Aroli. Misa Roli over here on the near side now passes it to Marpe. Marpe got times, gets it up to Liam Thomas. Who has it taken away? Marpe comes up behind and chips it ahead. And that's going to be last touch by Thomas. We're going to have a timeout on the field. The official is running over here to yellow card somebody. Guessing that's Deans he's pointing at? Something that must have happened earlier. It's interesting. 
So Aaron Deans, it appears, receives a yell at 516. Must have been from a play earlier. Munoz stops. It was a Rafini, Ross Finney. Really, him and Jones have done a great job in the middle. That midfield tonight for the Panthers thus far. Kind of controlling the ball. Munoz chasing it down. He's got time. He gets it over to Jack Hilton Jones. Over to Yolo Jones. He's got a lot of space. Tries to send a good block by Schmalbach. That's still in, but now it's out of bounds. Throw in coming up for Georgia State. Liam Thomas was trying to chase it down. Carlos Luna just checked in a little while ago, getting ready to throw it in for Georgia State. one nothing lead, 4-12. Clock moving here in this first half. Again, the Panthers with a chance to move up to number two in a home game in the Sunbelt Tournament with a win. The right decision here tonight. And some help on the other side, too. Still got two teams to move in front of, but... Not out of the question at this point, the way things are so tight in the Sun Belt. Here comes Deans. Stop. Now he's going to play it back to Fox. Fox moving over to Samuelson. Or Christensen, excuse me, back to Mesa Roli. Christensen. Beckett. Two men on him. I mean, again, the pressure is relentless. Taylor coming up. Forces. Statham to misplay it. Again, it just says little things. To Matt Taylor keeping the pressure on, causing that mistake. Out of that, it's a fancy footwork there from Brian Silva, who gets it back after Jones passes to him, turned over. And here comes Liam Thomas for Old Dominion on the near side, sending it ahead, giving chase. It was Eberly. Eberly still running around but then controlled and played back by Russ Finney. As Gunther Rankenberg moves it over Jack Hilton Jones. By Russ Finney with a man on. Evan Schroeder now playing it back to Rankenberg. And Georgia State will be happy to do this all night with a one nothing lead right now. Keeping the Monarchs chasing. Schroeder sends it up. Taylor can't get to it. Good head on the back end from Reeser. Hilton Jones now. Excuse me, Schroeder. And we get a whistle. A lot of contact there on Silva. He gets fouled. So now a minute 40. Five and the clock moving. We get Ross Finney with a free kick. He's going to send it across to Jack Hilton Jones. Looked like he was looking to send it. Now he passes it through and taken away by the Monarchs in the back end. Here comes Misa Roli passing it ahead to Liam Thomas. Liam Thomas of the left side. Got a man on him. Can he get by him? They're slowly converging on him quickly. Passes it over to Eberly, who sends it to the right wing. Deans is over there. Can he track it down and cross it? He does, and that's going to be last touched by the Panthers, and it'll give the Monarchs a corner kick with about a minute and change to go here in this first half of play with a rare offensive opportunity for ODU. Beckett had a couple really good corners earlier in the half. Some of the best chances so far for the Monarchs. Here's another one from Beckett. It's a little low. It's headed out. And that's going to be a throw-in for ODU with 43 seconds left. Beckett's quickly asking for the ball. Now ODU's going to take their time, apparently, as Deans has got the bigger throw. He's going to try to get it to the goal mouth for another opportunity with 30 seconds to go. Good throw by Deans. There's a head across. There's a bicycle kick and a save. 
That's going to be last touched by Georgia State, so it's going to stay with ODU on a corner. So they have to hurry with just 15 seconds left in this first half. Finally getting some opportunities as the clock is running short. Here's 10. Ball's punched out. Here's a shot coming up from Deans. It's going to be off the building, and that's going to do it for the first half. So after one half of play, the visitors from Georgia State, the Panthers, lead the Old Dominion Monarchs by the score of one to nothing. We'll come back with some halftime. Simon Carlson, who's been really an initiator tonight, has the assist. It's fourth of the year. And also had a couple shots of his own. We'll start it off for Georgia State in the dark blue and black stripes going right to left here in this uh, second half of play. Over to you in the white and the light blue stripes going left to right in half number two. Munoz moves it over to Jones. Jones with some space, takes the cross midfield. And he's going to send it in to the left side over here on the left wing to Brian Silva. Silva now plays it back. To Finney, who crosses it towards the goal mouth, but nobody's home. Statham picks it up, rolls it out. To Mape, who plays it back. Over to Christensen. Christensen, a little trouble. Talking about Jones, there he was, trying to get the takeaway, but Christensen's able to ward him off, and now just sends it ahead. He is a pest. Here comes Liam Thomas. Thomas trying to... Get across, but has it taken away. Jack Hilton Jones now will play it back to his goalie, Rankenberg. Over to Schroeder. Plays it up, and there's a send ball again. Jones chasing. He's going to get to it. He's going to cross it. It's blocked away, and it's going to be a corner kick coming up for Georgia State. That's what Simon Carlson does. Junior out of Kennesaw, Georgia. A lot of, a lot of energy. He's credited with one shot in the first half. Certainly does the dirty work for them as well, as Coach Brett Surrency said. Not a, not just a score. Here comes Carlson off the corner. Right high one, headed. Schroeder again, this time Statham gets a hand on, there's a shot, hits the top of the crossbar, and then a goal on the rebound. And there's the goal, and there's the celebration, and the slide from Jack Hilton Jones, who was pressing up. And it's a 2-0 Georgia State lead with 42-55 left here in regulation. Statham got the initial save, there's the crossbar, and then there's Hilton Jones in there with the rebound. I mean, Schroeder was trying to have a replay of the goal he had earlier, essentially. Three chances there for Georgia State, and they're able to make it good. So Hilton Jones with his second goal of the season. Makes it a 2-0 Panthers lead. So Old Dominion really off the wrong foot here to start the second half. You know, talk about Carlson again. Good with his set pieces. And again, just chasing. You see him right there. He just he is always putting the pressure on you. And then Statham misplays it out of bounds. Seen a lot of that tonight. They just press the action. They don't let you just set up and pass it out of there. They're just constantly coming at you. Here comes Silva, passing it over to Jones. Yellow Jones turns with it. It's going to be cleared out by Old Dominion's Beckett. He sends it up deep, but nobody's home. Ross Finney plays it over here on the near side to Munoz. Ramon Munoz. Passes it up, chest by Wilkins. Wilkins back to Silva. Munoz has it taken away by Schmalbach. 
Here comes Everly over to Thomas. Thomas with some space. He's going to fire it from outside the box, but right on goal and at the goalie to Gunther Rankenberg, who saves it, no problem. You can see that developing for Thomas. And he had a fire because he had defense closing in on him. As we get another look at it. And right there, he sends it in. He might have had another touch on it. Here comes Simon Carlson the other way, trying to get a handball call. He's not going to get it. Christensen is going to send it ahead. Some of the other youth fans thought that was an offside anyway on Carlson. Throw in coming up for the Panthers of Georgia State. See a coach, Brett Serency, year 12, I think, excuse me, year 13. Admitted that when he came there to Georgia State, thought maybe, you know, graduate assistant job, maybe a couple of years, be out of there, and here he is. Second all-time winningest coach of the school's history. Georgia State really can be deliberate now with their passing and their possession. The two-goal lead, although some will tell you two-goal lead is the worst kind of lead to have in soccer. We'll see if that holds true here tonight. Munoz sends it. That looks like a uh, offside. So offside the call. Old Dominions. Michael Statham. Got a bit of a weapon with that foot. You can really ping the ball on a rope. That helps find the offense. And that's probably one of the reasons why Carlson has been extra aggressive tonight. Making Statham hurry, not allowing him to have time to set up when he's playing the ball with his feet. He's done a masterful job of that. So ODU has not really been able to get any offense off the goalie tonight, which they have, which they do quite frequently. Yellow Jones sends it, giving chase is Wilkins coming back to Statham. And again, same thing from Wilkins. Then quickly back to offense. Jones stops, starts, plays it back to Munoz. Ramon Munoz, a lot of space. Over to Jack Hilton Jones, who changes fields with it. Evan Schroeder got the scoring started tonight. He dumps it off to Ross Fenny. Fenny back to Schroeder. And now they'll be happy to play it back to Gunther Rackenberg. and play a little keep away here with the clock in their favor and the scoreboard in their favor. Beckett unable to head it forward for ODU. So Finney playing it back to Munoz. Now up to Silva. With a man on Silva, drops it back off to Finney. Ross Finney. Now with a man on, Beckett gives him a little shove. <laughs> Munoz tries to thread it and does to Orocha. Orocha now send it to Silva, who's making the run. Off the left wing, he crosses. He's got a man there. There's the head and the save off the post. And is it in? No, somehow, some way, Statham keeps it. Oh, incredible. That was a beautiful head by Max Wilkins. And what a great cross from Silva. That was dangerous. Somehow, the post brought it back to Statham. Oh, do you? Definitely dodged a bullet there. So, 2 nothing game still. 37 and a half and moving to go. Oh, do you need to get some offense going here? A chance there, but here it passed. Cleared out by Munez in the back end. And here comes Arocha for the Panthers again in transition. Passing it ahead of Carlson, but doesn't get there, luckily, for the Monarchs and kicked away out of bounds by. Samuel Mark Christensen. It's a throw in coming up for Georgia State. As Silva, who almost had an assist, a terrific cross. Tiger, 
Georgia State's done a good job, you know, players in the middies and the guys in the back end making runs. There's a cross to Silva. He can't get there. He's chasing it. There's a turnover. Finney. Now to Carlson. Back to Finney. Back to Carlson. Shot and he hits his own man. Gets blocked, luckily, for the Monarchs. Finney kind of just chips it ahead. And we've got an offside. We've got an offside on the back end. Or do you try to quickly restart? And some frustration from Beckett, who thought he could do that. And then the player blocks, and the referee saying, no, put it back where it belongs. And now that's what the Monarchs will do with Statham trying to get everybody ready. Watching the Panthers out here quickly mark up on all the Dominion players. Statham looking for some options. His boots it in the middle of the field, and there's some white jerseys there headed ahead for a moment by Schmalbach. Back to Schmalbach, who gets pushed from behind. Some frustration there from the Monarchs. Throwing coming up for Georgia State. Excuse me, it was Jenkins, not Schmalbach. It was Jenkins who got pushed. Was trying to come back for the ball. Couldn't control it. Max Wilkins over to Finney. Plays it back to Yolo Jones. Sends it up the right wing. Luna plays it back to Jones. Who changes fields over to Munoz. Munoz to Silva. Silva's been a nice little spark since he's come in. Hilton Jones over to Schroeder. That's Luna, sends it in, but Monarchs, Michael Statham picks it up. 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes into this second half of play. 2-0 lead for Georgia State, Road Panthers. With a win tonight and some help, can move all the way up to the two seed in the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. Christensen back to Statham. Statham with a man on. Sends it ahead, but nobody's there except for Panthers. Giving chase is Eberly. Eberly trying to do, turn the tables on Georgia State, kind of giving them some of their medicine there, and he forces Rankenberg with a quick boot. Which now controlled by Fabian Reeser. Sends it ahead to Schmalbach. Schmalbach now with a little head of steam. He's got some real estate. Gets it taken away. Now coming the other direction. Mr. Rolly's able to get it back for ODU. Played back now to Christensen. Tried to get it on the right wing, but volleyed away. Now Joshua Fox will move it over to Christensen. Christensen now brings it across midfield. Christensen sent it over to the right wing a little high for Liam Thomas. Does a great job to keep it in bounds with a header. Back to Mape and then send here to the near side. Now to you with a little possession time as Joshua Fox has it. Can they create some offense off the possession is a question. Now headed up by Hilton Jones, headed again by Hilton Jones. Looks like he's losing his armband. Oh, do you? Oh, just out on the same page here. Tristan Jenkins was not ready for the pass. Throwing coming up for the Panthers. So Eberly was trying to drop it out the wing. And Jenkins wasn't ready for it, also, maybe not a good angle. But kind of the night for ODU when it comes to offense. Munoz, the good throw. Carlson quickly getting it over. Here's the pass ahead, and that's going to be offside. Pick one, uh, Max Wilkins or Carlson. But they got Wilkins, I think. So Old Dominion off the offside. Beckett is going to change fields with it. Reeser. Stop, starts. Reeser now is going to have to play it back to Statham, who's way out of the box. 
Statham very comfortable doing that. Sends it back to Fabian Reeser. Reeser brings it towards midfield. Over to Beckett. Now Christensen back to Beckett. Beckett sends it to the wing to Liam Thomas. Thomas off his chest. Waits for the defender to come on. Now brings it towards the middle of the field. Crosses it. Has he got anybody home? No. Headed out by Munoz. Now it's on the foot of an old mini player. Shot goal! Monarchs with the goal. Jonas Schmalbach. And all of a sudden it's a one goal game. Schmalbach will get another look at it. Great cross by Thomas. Off the head and Schmalbach just Johnny on the spot there. Boom. And Rankenberg just couldn't get enough on it. What a fire from Schmalbach. That's his third goal of the season. At 31-14 left in the second half, it's suddenly a one-goal game. So after going down 2-0, Monarchs have cut the deficit in half. So a lot of time to play here. Kind of a misplay from the defender, and Schmalbach makes him pay. Was ready, and this is what Brent Surrency was saying. They they can beat you, and they don't even have the ball at times. And at that point, it looked like it was a change of possession. And then there's Schmalbach ready to pounce. Here comes Carlson. He stops, starts, and Christensen touches it last. So it's going to be a corner coming up. And these have been dicey for the ODU defense, and very productive for Georgia State. Two goals off of corner so far here tonight. The other one was off. The last one was off several rebounds. Carlson will have the right foot to it, so it'll be coming towards the goal. Here comes Carlson trying to get everybody set up. Officials now blowing the whistle for a second. Trying to perhaps stop some of the, the hand fighting. Now there's a discussion as the ref has him to stop the clock. Nice pulling out a couple players. It's Jonas Schmalbach, and he's also talking to Jack Hilton Jones. It's like a cordial discussion. I don't think they're talking about dinner plans, but wasn't anything too serious. All right, so 30 02 to go. When we get the whistle, we will there. The clock will start again. Here comes Simon Carlson, who's been very good off these corners tonight for Georgia State. There's another good one. Benning headed out by the Monarchs in the back end, still being fought for. Headed twice by Jones for Georgia State, but a push from the Panthers, so no harm, no foul this time for the Monarchs off of the Georgia State corner. Michael Statham will take the free kick with 29 and a half and the clock ticking. ODU down just a goal now after a goal a few moments ago from Jonas Schmalbach to cut it to a 2-1 game. Schmalbach high deep kick. Here comes Schmalbach. Now he's going to send it off to, to Tr Jenkins, Tristan Jenkins, in the right corner. There's a man to beat. Can't get there, and Finney has it. He's going to just blast it out of bounds. So ODU will throw it. ODU putting some pressure on here suddenly. In this second half, trying to even the score. Mr. Rowley with a cross, but out of bounds. Miseroli turned it quickly, but it would be a goal kick coming up from Gunther Rankenberg. Rankenberg in the red kit, black gloves, getting ready to blast the goal kick in. Statham really can crush the ball. Thomas off his shoulder, out of bounds. 
Throw up for Evan Schroeder. A couple of the Georgia State players thought maybe Thomas should have been called for a handball there. Instead, they get the throw in. Booted ahead by the Panthers. Given Chase Christensen. To Reeser. Reeser gets it back from Fox. Almost taken away. So Reeser sends it up for ODU. And that is handled by Luna. Crosses it to who else? Simon Carlson shoots it. Saved by Statham. And Carlson, man, he is a spark plug. Statham did a great job keeping ODU in this one. Goalie boots it away. High punt. There's going to be a push from behind called on Hilton Jones, Jack Hilton Jones. Knocked down Eberly for Old Dominion. So free kick for the Monarchs. Beckett getting ready to handle it. Carlson trying to get a little closer than he's supposed to be. We'll see if the referee marks it off. Beckett. Puts the two hands up as this team gets set up on the right side of the box. Just not quite high enough headed out, but Thomas volleys it back up. Here comes the Panthers trying to get something in transition. Luna. Excuse me, maybe that Silva moved it up. Now it's played back to Munoz. Munoz now going to pass it up the left side. Wide open is Carlson. Here comes Carlson coming on. Can the defenders get there in time to take away the angle? They do briefly, but there's a cross and a goal. Are you kidding me? Simon Carlson, I think he went five hole to beat Statham. I think he went between his legs, makes it a 3-1 game. You see the slide. He's been the hardest working player in the field tonight, and he's got his seventh goal of the season. Simon Carlson, yeah, I mean, not quite five hole, just got him on the near post. Wow. Incredible goal. With It seemed like an impossible angle. Looked like the angle was taken away. And at 26-11 and left in the second half, it's back to a two-goal advantage for Georgia State. So Carlson with his seventh goal of the year makes it 3-1. to one. Or do you – players a little dejected, but they've got a, still got a lot of time left in this game as it has suddenly opened up 26-11. But a eventful second half. Monarchs play it back. Statham will handle it. Just got beat near post. It really looks like they did a good job taking the angle away. And just pinpoint shot from Simon Carlson, the 5'7 junior from Kennesaw, Georgia. As an assist tonight and a goal. Certainly been the player of the game so far. Good hustle there by Old Dominion's Jonas Schmalbach, who's had enough as a goal already and try to get one there too. Great job rushing Rankenberg. That's what uh, Georgia State has done so well tonight is for Statham to hurry with his passing. And it's worked well for them. Well, Dominion is trying to turn the tables here with 25-18 o'clock ticking. Goal kick coming up to go in this ball game. Talking to Coach Brett Surrency, one of the things he about Carlson he likes is he does the dirty work for the team and his first level of defense, which is huge. And you can see it here in practice tonight, what he's talking about. And he said, guys want to follow his lead in this team. And you've certainly seen that with others out there like Max Wilkins pressing it as well. Now Old Dominion with a little urgency. Tristan Jenkins giving chase as Rankenberg boots it away. Hilton Jones. Somebody who is one of the leaders in this team as well. Rankenberg almost misplays it. Getting good pressure. Eberly this time for Old Dominion as they're really finally pushing forward here. There's a push and a free kick coming up for ODU. Mario Orocha gets called for the foul. I think Beckett 
so good in these set pieces for the Monarchs. Lewis Beckett. Two goals, three assists in the season. Just coming into the game at 20 shots in the year, nine of which have been on goal. Here he comes. Everybody lined the box. Someone's bending, and we're going to get a whistle. What's the call? The ref said on his mark, I guess, that was the whole thing. So they're not going to – they're going to make him re-kick it. Okay. <laughs> one practice kick. Now we can go. There's a good one bending towards the goal. Can anybody get there? No, goal kick coming up. Looked like that one had a chance at first, but it was just a little too heavy. And Gunther Rankin, Rankenberg with the goal kick. Keep an eye on the clock now, certainly. Time is important for ODU. Down two goals once again with 23 minutes in the clock moving to go. Munoz can't play it cleanly. One of the consistent back end players for the Panthers. But again, part of it is the pressure. That's exactly why Georgia State plays the way they do. ODU now trying to do some of that themselves. Couldn't get it to Jenkins. Wilkins giving chase. Trying to make it tough on Christensen, who plays it back to Statham. Chase has Statham as well. Statham quickly getting it out to Fox. <clears throat> Moving it ahead. Here up the left wing, Old Dominion trying to make something happen. Dropped off to Leem Thomas. Thomas tries to cross it, and instead it'll be a corner kick. Goes off the back. A Panther defender. So corner kick coming up. Beckett again for Old Dominion. Beckett short kicks it. And that doesn't do too well. And quickly booted out of bounds by Finney. So Finney boots it out. Old Dominion throw in. Fox with a throw in. Joshua Fox looking for some options. Mr. Rowley turns with it. Can he get it some space? No. Gets it poked away. Still fighting for it as Fox and Mr. Rowley both up there. Cleared out. Excuse me, that's Fox. That was Eberly up front earlier. Fox here on the back end, able to get it in there. Get an injured player. Carlson's on the ground. Carlson gets fouled. Don't think the Old Dominion fans like to call. Strawpool says they don't like it. Uh, free kick coming up here for Georgia State with 20-40 in the clock moving left. Simon Carlson is just fine, apparently. Munoz passes it ahead to Carlson who drops it off. Here comes Max Wilkins cross and just missed. Woo. A little wide, and that's going to be a goal kick for the Monarchs. Coming into the game now for Georgia State number 11, Tristan Jumeau. Places Ross Finney, who's played the entire way, senior from Carnoustie, Scotland. Real strong player. On the back end, I should say the midfield for this Panthers team. In the center mids, he and Yolo Jones have done a great job here tonight. Part of this Panther attack so far. Munoz sends it ahead to Carlson, a little heavy, and last one, I'm going to say last touch by Old Dominion. So it's going to be a throw in for the Panthers. I thought we were trying to get subs in. I'm waiting to see that. It is a Panther throw in. Tom Williams comes in for Brian Silva, 16 for 14. Carlson with the man on, Beckett. Mm -hmm. 
Munoz into Carlson, back to Munoz. Right in front of the Georgia State bench. And that's going to be off of Old Dominion. Coming to give the throw, Tom Williams. We just checked back in. Been one of the players that has given them good minutes off the bench. These massive minutes coming off the bench. Really a spark player for Brent Surrency's team. Munoz, he gets tripped by Jenkins. So it's a free kick now for the Panthers. And again, time is uh, ticking away on Old Dominion here. Down two goals, 3-1. Georgia State leads it. Yolo Jones, a graduate student from Wales, will take the free kick. Liam Thomas, kind of the one-man wall there for ODU. Jumps. Ball's volleyed away by Old Dominion. And booted away, but out of bounds. Coming in now, number 12, Gavin Williams. He's in for Orocha. Mario Orocha sits down, the fifth year senior from Madrid, Spain. Three goals, three assists in the year. That's 17, under 17 and a half now. Or do you feel the urgency here? Schmalbach has to play it back to Fox over to Christensen. It's too heavy. And again, this is the, another example. This is the little things that have hurt ODU tonight. Simple play, simple passes. Not so simple. Last home game of the year for the Monarchs, last regular season game. There's a cross to a nice pass on the inside to Jones, but couldn't finish. Cleared out by the Monarchs. Tom Williams laid him a nice pass. We weren't ready for it. Up the left side, ODU now trying to make something happen. Time running short. Liam Thomas in the middle of the field. Man on, drops it back. Joshua Fox. Fox is going to have to send it towards the box. Coming up, Rankenberg with a collision. Ball's loose. There's a shot, and there's a goal. And another one from Jonas Schmalbach with just some hustle and persistence. That goal counts despite the complaints from Rankenberg who thought that he was interfered with. That was a 50-50 ball and we see it again and nothing wrong with what Schmalbach did to get his fourth goal of the season to make it just a one goal game with 16.05 to go. Let's look at it again. Fox centers it. Ball's there. Nobody has it. There's nothing wrong. He plays the ball. Schmalbach and that's legal and that's a goal with 16.05 left. Two goals in the second half from Schmalbach and made things interesting. The graduate student from Venice, Italy. Georgia State players don't like it, but again, it was playing the ball. There was a collision between the two players, but it is a goal for Schmalbach. And suddenly, the pressure on with 15 and a half to go. ODU, Beckett, sends it to Jenkins. Kicked out of bounds, hold him in a corner. Suddenly, the crowd's waking up here. 3-2 ball game. Beckett. Wait for everybody to get settled. 15-25 left in regulation. Crosses it. Oh! And just, oh, went right through everybody somehow. That massive humanity somehow. Nobody got a foot on or a head on it. And somehow, some way. It's a goal kick as Gunther Rankenberg gets ready to tee it up for Georgia State. You see it on the replay. It's still hard to believe it went through there without anybody touching it. 
It's under 15 to go here in this ball game. In with the new rules in college soccer, there's no overtime. So if ODU were to tie it and the game were to end in a tie, there were obviously a lot of ties this year in college soccer. But ODU would take the point tonight for sure, especially the way this thing started. Take it and not apologize, but Georgia State still with a one-goal advantage is still pressing against Simon Carlson. Now maybe they'll start taking the time, and he just play it back. Again, the clock and the scoreboard on the side of the visitors. Yolo Jones has some nice move and some traffic, able to get it. Gavin Williams plays it back. Head to Carlson, who can't get to it. Old Dominion coming out of that exchange with possession. Mape with a man on. He's got some real estate up the left side. Mape sends it over to Beckett. Beckett sends it quickly, but nobody's home. And headed back out by Munoz. And McLean sends it ahead, but there's an offside. Williams was off, or Tom Williams was offside. Ref, linesman on the far side of the field had it as well as the ref. So 13 and a half to go in this one. ODU down a goal. Jonas Schmalbach with a pair of goals in the second half. One at 31-14 to cut it to 2-1. to one. Then... Down three to one with another one. There's Schmalbach passing ahead to Thomas. Thomas working hard, trying to keep possession of the ball. Sends it back to Beckett. Beckett passes it back to Fox. Fox crosses it. He's got a man there. There's a one touch, but no. Headed out by Hilton Jones. Back to ODU, though. They still have possession. Send it down. Here's Thomas. Can he get across? Oh, ball's blocked. Thomas hustling back for the ball. Can he get there? Nope. And coming the other way is McLean. Justin McLean sends it ahead to Williams. Back to McLean. Williams still on the ball. Tom Williams sends it ahead, but ODU is able to chase it down with Christensen. And stay them quickly booting it ahead. And we're going to get an offside on Old Dominion. 12 and a half left. Clock's moving. 3-2 ball game. Georgia State on top. Munoz, time and space, gets it up to McLean. Last touch by the Monarchs, throw in in front of the Panthers bench. Munoz will take it, 12 minutes to go. Carlson gets it back to Munoz, back to Carlson. Carlson with a man coming on, sends it back towards Schroeder, who's being chased down by Schmalbach. But he's really gonna have to press Luna, oh man, running up the right side, crosses it, but nobody home except for Joshua Fox for Old Dominion. And here comes Tristan Jenkins, who's taken out moment, slowed down momentarily by Jones. Jenkins across midfield again, is able to avoid the tackle. Jenkins still with the ball. Nice footwork to keep it alive. Drops it off. One touch to Thomas, who can't get there. Thomas keeps possession for the moment, but no, taken away now by Jones. Boy, Old, Old Dominion with a chance there. It looked like couldn't quite finish. Simon Carlson now to McLean. He plays it over to Luna and back to Luna. It's Gavin Williams. Over here on the near side is McLean. Now they're just happy to spread out and work clock against Old Dominion. Here comes Schroeder. Nice through ball to Williams. Williams over to the other Williams. Back to Carlson. Oh, and there's a wide open opportunity for McLean. Shoots it wide of the net. Did it deflect off an ODU player? And, yeah, I believe it is going to be a corner kick. Let's get another look at this one. Really good passing from Georgia State to set this up. It was last touched by Old Dominion's Reeser. So corner kick coming up with 10 minutes and eight seconds and the clock is moving left in this game. Simon Carlson again. 
He's had a lot of success here tonight. Headed out of over the goal, or up and in the goal. Whoa, Statham somehow gets it. He gets pushed, kind of pushes back himself. Now he runs out with it. Wow. That was almost disastrous, but uh, Statham was ready for it. Old Dominion down a goal, under 10 minutes now. Nine, coming up on nine and a half minutes left in this ball game. Need to get a point tonight to perhaps improve their standing in the seating for the Sun Belt Tournament. They could at least grab a point off of this tonight. Georgia State needs the full three points and some help in order to move up to that two spot. Tristan Jenkins can't control it. The trap, so throwing coming up here for Georgia State with a one goal lead, and now we're coming up on nine minutes left. Ball headed back. Georgia State happy to move it back to Schroeder. Hilton Jones now over here at the near side to Munoz. And we got a whistle. We got an injured ODU player. Beckett, he fell down. Now he's coming out of the game. Alexis Lamontang comes in for ODU number 12, replacing Beckett. So at 8.33, the clock has stopped. The restart, it's Georgia State ball. Carlson turned it over briefly, but it gets back to Carlson. Well, the ball just finds Simon Carlson, doesn't it? Good hustle there by McLean to punch it ahead. <clears throat> and again, at this point, style points don't matter for Georgia State. They just got to... Keep possession, keep it away from ODU. Heavy pass back, but Statham comes up to handle it. He's got a little space. Nobody, you know, here comes Carlson. He knew he wasn't going to give him anything easy. So he sends it ahead. Thomas unable to get to it. So Evan Schroeder, who started the scoring tonight, passes it over. Now sent up deep. To Tom Williams. Tom Williams stops, drops it back off. To Luna. Luna on the corner. And there's a cross. It's going to be kicked away by Old Dominion. Now trying to get upfield. The Monarchs. The heel pass is going to go out of bounds. They're not going to say last touch by Georgia State. So it's going to be an ODU throw in. And we're going to have a stoppage here for a second. I think we're going to have some substitutes coming in. And we do. Old Dominion is going to get in number 20, Trevor Ferguson. So Ferguson in the game for Old Dominion. Places Owen Ruddy, who would come in earlier. So Ferguson now here on the near side of the field, comes and plays on the right side. Thomas is also here. Thomas volleys it ahead. Can Christensen get to it? And he's being warded off by his man. They're going to call it on Christensen. Yeah, Christensen got a little handsy on the guy's, on the defender's back, and they're going to get him for that. He didn't like the call, but he doesn't get a vote. With six and a half to go, it's going to be a free kick for the Panthers. Goal lead in possession, and then obviously the clock moving backwards. Christensen with a big foot into it. Excuse me, uh, Rankenberg with a big foot into it after the Christensen penalty. Set ahead. Schmalbach trying to give chase. There's Christensen. Half touches to Schmalbach. He's already got two. Can he get the hat? He crosses it, but whoa, Rankenberg comes out and gobbles that thing up. So Gunther Rankenberg. Off the cross, couldn't get a lot on it, Schmalbach, but he was trying to get it over there. He had Christensen making the run, Let's take another look at it. 
Here comes Schmalbach just – Rankenberg, rather, just off the Schmalbach shot. Just came out and ate it up. Coming the other way. Another chance for Georgia State, perhaps now a penalty on Georgia State. You get the foul on Gavin Williams, who just checked in earlier in the half. So coming up on the five-minute mark, ODU down a goal, 3-2. to two. The season finale for – regular season finale for both of these teams before the Sun Belt Tournament. McLean with the bicycle, but goes nowhere. Booted ahead by Jones, followed by Reeser, over to Fox. Lamitage passes it ahead on the left wing. That ball's out of bounds, an old Dominion to throw in coming up for the Panthers. Max Wilkins is back in for McLean for Georgia State. So they've got their starter starting forwards back in, Wilkins and Carlson. Obviously trying to close this one out and get the full three points here tonight in Norfolk. Ball sent ahead to Tom Williams. Tom Williams with two men on him. Plays it back to Yolo Jones. Yolo Jones, oh, nice pass ahead. Wilkins is on. If he can get the shot off, blocked away. It's going to be a corner kick coming up for Georgia State. Oof. Or to use defense. Somebody went to sleep back there as Max Wilkins, all six, two of them, somehow snuck behind the defense. And now with under four minutes to go and a one-goal lead for Georgia State, they're going to take their time going to get the corner kick. And Simon Carlson's going to eat up as much as his clock as he can. Now it looks like Georgia State's going to just do a short kick and play possession, try to kill some clock. But ODU able to steal it away. Monarchs come out of there. I'm not really sure what the Panthers were trying to accomplish with that. But now ODU charitably sends it back to him with a throw in. Munoz with a big throw in. Here's Carlson. He's waiting. Turns, he's got his man, it's Williams. He's making a run. Big chase down and good defense in the back end from Ferguson to make it tough on him. And quickly, Old Dominion, Missaroli. He's going to push it ahead. Booms it ahead to Wilkinson. Here comes Thomas giving chase. Can he get there? It's Hilton Jones just kicks it out of bounds. So ODU's Thomas now coming up lame with under three minutes to go. We're actually at 2.45 to be exact in the clock ticking. Liam Thomas is kind of hopping around out there. ODU's Alexis Lamitage to throw it in. Big throw. We're trying to get a big throw, but it's going to be short. Headed out. Ferguson whiffs on it, and here comes Joe, or Carlson, rather. Simon Carlson. He's just going to run to the corner. He's just going to run to the corner, but it's taken away by Fox. Joshua Fox now has to send it, but it's headed off. By Schroeder, who leaves his feet. ODU chasing it out of bounds. It'll be a Monarch throw in. We're coming up with a two minute mark left in this soccer match. It's a 3 2 ball game. ODU trailing at home here to Georgia State. Under two minutes left. And can ODU get another chance here? Yeah, and there's a, maybe a penalty right now. The referee could blow the whistle or on Luna. We're standing in front of the ball as we're at a minute 35. Clock is still ticking away. Time is of the essence. I don't... Referee still pointing to Carlson. And it's interesting, he has not asked for the clock to be stopped. Now he does after a good 25, 30 seconds have been wasted for ODU. So 124. Left in the game. Three to two. Georgia State. Old Dominion. The set piece from way out. 
Ferguson puts it up their head. No, nobody can get it. He's got players in the ground for both teams. Ball's crossed over. Another head punched out by Rankenberg. Thomas Gibbon chase. So we're about at a minute 10 now left in this game. Thomas crosses it. Anybody going to be home? No, headed out by Georgia State. Here's a shot from Old Dominion way over the goal, though, with over a minute to go. The clock is moving. It'll be a goal kick. Goal kick coming up now for Georgia State. Two balls in the field. This is a problem. The referee is not going to stop the clock either. So what are you really up against it here? going to have to put all their pressure on defensively to try to get the ball back if they get another possession at this point. Rankenberg with a big foot. Should kill a lot of the clock as we hit 30 seconds left now. ODU plays it back. They got to hurry it up. Trying to boot it ahead. Ball's deflected. Headed back towards the Old Dominion end. Now kicked ahead by ODU. Give it chase. Christensen's up there. There's a whiff. Here's an ODU opportunity perhaps. A cross. Is anybody home? Thomas can't get there. A great save by Rankenberg, and that's probably going to do it. Yep. With 10 seconds left, Rankenberg is going to hold on to it, and Georgia State's going to come in here tonight to Norfolk and get the win over the Monarchs by the final of 3-2. to two. Tough decision for ODU as they had a bit of a push in them in the second half, but not enough as Georgia State and Brett Surrency's team improves to 11 Three and three and four, two and two in the Sun Belt, and now have the little scoreboard watching to see where they end up. They may end up moving up all the way to the two spot in terms.